Hey guys, good morning. It's actually not morning. It is almost 12 o'clock. Evie woke up at like 11 o'clock. 11, no, it was like 11.30 by the time she came outside from her room. She was so tired, but we, she wound up not going to bed until about midnight last night because by the time Dan got home and we had dinner, she was like wide awake because she had had a two or three hour nap, which she hasn't done for a really long time. She hasn't napped anymore. So we wound up, after dinner, we watched, we were going to watch a Christmas movie, and by the time we picked a Christmas movie, we wound up watching Home Alone, which is like a good hour and a half long movie. Uh, and I wanted to watch The Christmas. Yeah, you wanted to watch The Grinch, but we couldn't find it. But we'll watch it sometime this season. Yeah. So she, like, kept saying, oh, I'm tired, like, throughout the movie, but she wouldn't fall asleep, and she'd, like, lay on me, she'd lay on Dan, but she, like, wouldn't fall asleep. So she wound up watching the whole movie, and then she fell asleep, like, immediately after that. But then she woke up super late. So Lara, by the time Lara even went back down for her morning nap, was when Evie woke up. So we're just having a late start to the day. And I got our Christmas cards this morning. So we wound up going with Shutterfly because I had some Pampers points and I got 25 free Christmas cards. I just had to pay for shipping. So this is the picture that we used from Thanksgiving. And then we wish you a very Merry Christmas, our name. And then Dan Hillary, Evie Claire, and Lara Bell. And then I have some leftover um, address labels, stickers, from when I got my minted cards last year. So I'm going to pair those two together. And that's going to be Christmas cards this year. I'm really glad that they came. They weren't scheduled to come until like the 7th of December. So happy to get them and then get them all signed up and, and sent out. So um, there's actually like a... Um, like a German Christmas market going on uh, today that my some of my siblings were gonna go to, so I think I might go to that with them. Um, they were gonna go and also cut down a tree, which obviously we don't need to do, but we might go just to hang out um, for the day. So I'm gonna get this done, get Evie fed, and then maybe we'll be heading out. I'm attempting to get myself ready. Okay, Evie's doing a craft. She found some uh, a Christmas coloring book that I pulled out, so she's got her scissors and her glue, and she's crafting. So we're just hanging around the house, just getting stuff done. I was just working. Oh, you didn't see it. I was just working on the Goodwill challenge, my video for fr for Monday, which you'll see this what Sunday, so it'll be tomorrow. Um, so that is looking really good. I actually did something other than my mantle this year, if you can believe it. I always do my mantle, but I decided to do something else. Okay, Lara, poor thing. She's sitting up and she's starting, she's not quite crawling, but she can like scoot and get all over. So she won't like stay in one spot. But poor thing, keeps falling backwards. And I, I feel so terribly about it, but if I put something behind her, she just scoots away from it. And I can't just follow her around putting a pillow behind her. But she she just fell a little bit ago. That's why her, her eyes are a little teary. But she's pretty good about, like, she can kind of fall in a way that's not, like, she doesn't cry every single time. But this time it was a hard fall. Right? He's still learning. <laughs> okay, so this is, like, day two or three hair. And it was getting a little bit greasy. So what I usually do is just use baby powder. This is uh, just the pure cornstarch version, no talc. And even though I have really dark hair, it actually works as dry shampoo. So sometimes it's a little bit powdery and I have to just kind of like pat it out around my face or like use a, a towel and just kind of like wipe away any extra uh, powder. But it works pretty well. I just like flip my head over and then put some on my hands, put it in my hair. And then this is my curling iron of choice. It's a one and a half inch Conair, but I've used many different brands. And I just like refresh the uh, spots around my face. I don't do like my whole head again because I did that already. So I just kind of like put a little curl back in it and sort of like sweep it aside. And then I did that side already. But I don't know, in case someone's curious out there how to 
keep your hair fresher longer, just use a little baby powder. I have used a mixture of like cornstarch and cocoa powder, which works also really well, and it's brown because of the cocoa powder, so it doesn't, uh, it's not as obvious in dark hair. Um, but if you had just blonde hair, obviously cocoa powder wouldn't work. So you could just use cornstarch or baby powder. It works. So I was either gonna put it up in like a clip or attempt to revive it. So I think it's okay. Because it's very dry outside, my hair doesn't get as greasy, so I can definitely make it like the third day. Um, but tonight I'll, I'll wash it and then redo it tomorrow. All right, it's three o'clock and we're just now having a really late lunch. We kind of had a late start to the day, so we're having some leftover salsa chicken that I made and put it over some fresh rice that I just made with some uh, sour cream on top. So for me and Evie, and yeah, it's like 3.20, so we um, may not be going out until like a little bit later. So I figured um, we'll get everything ready, get ourselves ready, and have eaten so that whenever the time comes that they say it's time to go, then we're gonna go. Okay, <laughs> I just got a text. They just left, they'll be back in 30 minutes. They wanna leave at 4.30 for the German market. So 3.30, all right, so that's perfect. Like an hour, we'll be ready. Jesus, please help us to obey and be faithful and to us. Freshly deep fried mini donuts with powdered sugar and cinnamon. I see you. You're riding a giant turtle. You're riding a giant turtle. All right, so we are back home from the German market. It was so cold tonight, you guys, and this thing was like on the water on like a boardwalk, and it was so windy and cold that Lara, like, I think she really did not like the cold because she was crying most of the time that we were there and she is not a crying kind of baby so I felt so bad. She was all bundled up and as warm as I could get her but she just was not having it and I didn't have Dan with me. He actually went out to go see a band that we used to like love in high school called MXPX. If you know who they are leave me a comment down below you get like a thousand bonus points because uh, such such good memories we have uh, with that band but I couldn't go because obviously I can't take a baby so I went to this German market and it was super cute and it was lovely they had all sorts of vendors and all these cute little buildings set up but it just was not really for kids they had two th sort of like kid attractions there was a petting zoo and like you could meet Santa but both of them were during the day and this was we went at night so neither of them were like an option like we couldn't go and do them they were both closed down so I don't know it was just it was really crowded and I was like really nervous with Evie be, like running away or I don't know so it just wasn't as enjoyable as I was hoping it would be but we did get some delicious donuts and some good German food and called it a night so I'm gonna get Evie ready for bed Lara's sleeping in her car seat but I don't know if she's like done for the night it's about a little after nine but she fell asleep at maybe like eight a little after eight so that's early for her to go to bed so we'll see how this evening goes but thanks so much for watching guys i'll be talking to you tomorrow bye